Hey, I'm Seb, and I create Machinima for Arma 3. I often get asked what mods I use in my videos, so today we're going to look at 10 of my favorite mods that I use for most of my video projects. Keep in mind that these mods are not a requirement, as you can make Machinima without any modifications at all. Nonetheless, they are often included in my projects because they make my workflow easier and more reliable. Starting off at number 1, I have Gcam Cinematic Camera by Geigen. Gcam is a camera mod that brings camera functions we don't have with the in-house splendid camera. These functions include follow, behind and focus modes. Gcam offers a free camera operating with smooth movement which is easy to use right away. This mod is actually almost 10 years old and was posted to Armaholic by Geigen back in 2011. The ported Arma 3 version is still very much the same as the original Arma 2 version in its simplicity and the functions. For me this is a must-have mod to complement the splendid camera. In number 2 I have A2C Arma 2 cutscenes by Indeed Pete. This mod does not need much explaining as it's literally the Arma 2 cutscenes. It includes all of the old cutscene animations from Arma 2. Arma 2 had a really great campaign with many scripted cutscenes, so having this mod gives you so many more choices when you're choosing animations for your scenes. At number 3 I have Cup, Units, Weapons, Vehicles and Terrains. The Community Upgrade Project or Cup brings content from Arma, Arma 2 Combined Operations, Arma 2 ACR and Take on Helicopters from Bohemia Interactive into Arma 3, upgraded to the Arma 3 standards. Cup's goal is to provide these assets to the community as a mod that's ready to use in the game. The Cup mods gives you many more assets to play with and to experiment with when you're building sets for your movie. It is therefore a great addition to have in your machine and mod list. At number 4 we have Blastcore edited standalone version by Optical Snare, edited by Paladin. All action movies need cool explosions and Blastcore transformed the vanilla explosions into something that looks much cooler on camera. Unfortunately, as far as I know, the Blastcore mods are no longer being updated, but for the time being, this is what I prefer to use. At number 5 we got Polpox Artwork Supporter. This mod will save you a lot of time when creating machinimas. It gives you a special animation finder that has a search function and even gives you the chance to see the animation in the editor played out before loading the mission. That means that there is no more jumping in and out to adjust your animations. It also improves on the functions in the splendid camera, so try this one out when you have a chance. At number 6 we have Eden Enhanced by Revo. This modification adds new functionalities to the Eden editor without creating any dependencies. This gives the Eden editor many new tools that you can use to make your machinima. You can even customize each individual character's traits to your liking. Another example is enhanced time acceleration that you can use to make time lapses. To learn more about that, check out my tutorial on time lapsing that utilizes Eden Enhanced. At number 7 we have Ragdoll Effects Overhaul by Venom.226. Vanilla ragdolls are a little bit clunky and does not look good on camera, so this mod fixes various problems with vanilla A3's ragdoll physics. Knee joints have been fixed so they can no longer bend in ridiculous ways along with other various improvements. At number 8 it's none other than RHS mod pack by Red Hammer Studios. These mods gives you the United States Armed Forces the Russian Federation Armed Forces, independent fictional and real factions, as well as the Serbian Armed Forces. All these mods include weapons, vehicles, equipment and much more. Red Hammer Studios is a group of dedicated modders that has been working on modifications for Arma for a really long time, so these guys produce high quality assets and this makes RHS a great inclusion in any video project. Number 9 is USP Gears and Uniforms by Under Siege Productions. USP Gear and Uniforms aims to bring a broad variety of modern NATO gear to Arma 3. So USP 
together with your previously mentioned RHS and Cup, gives you even more choices when you're outfitting your characters for your machinima. This mod will also be expanding a lot in the future with more assets like weapons and such, and will grow to be a great all-round mod for you to use in any of your projects. In the final spot we got JSRS by Lord Jarhead. Sometimes you have to record audio and effects directly from the game, and JSRS gives the audio a complete overhaul and makes it more immersive and more realistic. With more than a few thousand new sound effects, JSRS provides a powerful and great sound experience from all of the weapons, vehicles, effects and the maps. And there you have it! Those were my top 10 mods for Arma Cinema. Remember that no mod is required to create great videos in Arma, but if you want to know more about creating Machinima, check out my tutorials and ask me anything down below in the comment section. I hope your projects turn out really great and until the next video, have a great day.